All right, uh, we're back in the Morphar project. Uh, let me just adjust my mic there. I believe this is the right way. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna be working on the Morphar project again, and then hopefully this time we will be able to fix everything. So, um, I believe today we're gonna be working on yeah, the last part of the wing. I knew it. So we're gonna be working on the last part of the wing and then uh, from there on we're gonna be getting the second color in which is uh, this beautiful color over there, the brownish color. So yeah, uh, and after that we are gonna be fixing the rest of it. So I hope you're gonna be enjoying it and uh, let's get started on this. Oh hey, Bl oh, hey Mark! Oh hey Blue! <laughs> nice to see you all. So yeah, today uh, I had a lovely day. I actually played Skyrim with my nephew and um, we slayed a dragon and that was awesome. And he he fell out right out, out of his chair almost like, Oh my god, we killed a dragon! A freaking dragon! It's like, yeah boy, that's what you get. You're gonna kill a dragon. That's gonna. That's what you do when when you play Skyrim, killing dragons and gaining gold. Oh yeah. So yeah, I did that. I uh, I let my I let my little nephew play Skyrim, and uh, we killed the dragon with my fire sword, which really works well against dragons. So yeah. The, the funny thing is actually that uh, the fire sword is actually uh, called Old Stabby, you know, Old Stabby, because I had first I had Stabby, Mag Stabber, and I had to upgrade him, so I named him Old Stabby, which uh, deals uh, fire damage a decent amount, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, I created that. I uh, created my Old Stabby, and uh, that uh, that one is actually quite awesome to use. Uh, so yeah, um, I did that today, um, and uh, and I also worked on my drawing. Oh well, not on my drawing. I mean, writing. Yes, writing. Duh. Oh. So yeah, uh, I have been working on my writing. Um, I'm now currently writing chapter four. Uh, it's a terrible chapter, trust me. It's it's not one of the best, but it's a uh, well, it's a chapter. And I need to make sure that the chapter is nice and easily and good and good made. And uh, to do that, I need to uh, to achieve that. I actually need to make sure that I do it correctly. Therefore, I have this uh, idea. Oh yes, it was very cute seeing him cheer like, "Oh my God, we killed a dragon!" Woo! So yeah, it was the best. So yeah, I I have been working on my uh, I have been working on my chapter. On chapter four, and uh, I am now in the part where I have this conversation, and this conversation needs to go from one place to another place, into another place, into another place. So the 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 whole thing about this whole conversation is like, hey, I want to give you this inf uh, this beautiful. Uh, I I want to give you this information about this guy I met, and. Uh, the guy she's talking to is like, uh, no, I actually want you to give me the information that you that you gained from this guy, talking about the imports and all that stuff, why this city actually could use a trading route like that, and she's like, but I want to tell you about this guy I met, and I'm like, and yeah, and you know, the, the other guy's like, no, please, please refrain from that. So... That that's the whole thing, and then eventually, you know, they're gonna be, you know, dropping the subject of, you know, work, and they're gonna be talking about constellations. And after that, they're all they forget that they need to go back to, you know, talking about work, and uh, they go back to sleep. Oh well, at least you know, the main, the main, the main, uh, the main, the main guy, uh, the main protagonist actually goes back to sleep. So yeah. Which is quite cool. I really like uh, I really like the concept of how I did it, but it uh, is not fully done the conversation. So sadly, I put put actually one of the flaws in like uh, I don't know how to write people sometimes. You know, I don't I don't know how to write characters. 
So I did the best new thing. I, I used the trope and I didn't try to make it too obvious. So, well, I used the trope to create an emotion and therefore, you know, giving this girl the blindly, uh, not obsession, but more like a blindly, like, ah, uh, I remember what I, what I did today. You know, like, oh my god, this date was beautiful, and then, you know, constantly talking about that. Well, the other guy's like, no. No, no talking about that guy. I just want to know only critical things. So, yeah. It's quite fun. It's quite an entertaining conversation, but I hope uh, I'll try to. Uh, I hope I'll get it done this week. So, yeah. I feel vindicted in my uh, aberrations uh, to layers. I'll watch how to make digital art and looks uh, looks more traditional videos and one of the tips was to use fewer layers as possible huh interesting so as so technically we need to use as less layers as possible but if you use as less layers as possible then you won't be able to get uh, you won't get the positions right so if I want to position the wings properly, then you know I it uh that I can't because apparently they're stuck to the body already. So it's either that you need then a very very good sketch or you won't be able to do it, which is quite strange that you actually need that much uh, layers to reposition things, because I know that I need to reposition things like for instance the hat needs to be repositioned soon. Oh well, redrawn. The hat part of the beak needs to be redrawn, and uh, therefore, you know, I need to make sure that, uh, yeah, that I am having access to it, and I don't have access. So, will you read done? Uh, uh, will you read it on Dunstream when you get it done? Yes, I will. I will shame. I will unshamefully read it at Dunstream because I'm like. You know, it's bad. It's you know, you need to do it. You need to do it. Just do it. Whatever you were writing, just you know, represent it to other people because it's important. It's important, and I really want it. If you want a mimic traditional art style, more like, uh, more for you want more control. So basically, it's the matter of taste. Well. I like control, all right. I like to control my artwork. I want to shape it and mold it into one beautiful creation of mine. Yes. So, I uh, I prefer uh, more layers, the better. Because then I can actually work on color layers and then be like, oh, uh, do I want this effect? Yes. Do I don't want this effect? Yes. All right. Cool. Then uh, I can just you know hide this layer or you know remove the layer or use it afterwards again if I want to have like specialties in the layer so yeah it's quite fun that it's actually only a matter of taste but yeah um, I probably also don't know if I want to go for the classic art style that I'm already using or just gonna go for a new art style probably not but I'll try my very best to get things properly done so I just love this art style. It's uh, it's difficult, but it is so beautiful, so charming. Also, I need to look. Also, uh, after this project is done, I'm probably gonna be live streaming uh, my own suffering. So that's gonna be like you know, I'm gonna be drawing faces, not just faces, human faces. Oh boy. Human faces and human bodies. Let's let's do this with clothing and all. Let's see how well I can get in the, in, in in that project. So yeah, that's gonna be a thing anyway. So uh, prepare yourself for that. That I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be putting myself into use. Like I need to learn. How do I learn this? Well, I don't know. So better just get started on it. So yeah. Um. So far, I'm actually having a quite a blast on this. This is actually one of my favorite. Also, did you saw it? 
I finally did I finally did the you know greetings and the beginning screen and didn't fuck up. So yeah. That's a win win situation for me right now. It's quite lovely that I could be able to do it. It's like Yes I did it. I did it. I successfully done it. I d didn't done goof it. So yeah, I totally did not goof it. And uh Trust me, I am a really goofed when it comes to these things sometimes. So yeah. Yeah, I love drawing humans. It's fun. Yes. Well, you know, it's a thing that I need to learn, so it's gonna be fun for people to watch. It's not gonna be fun for me. It's probably gonna be frustrating and really like, oh my god, yeah. Why could it not just be beautiful scrolls? Why could it not be just snakes? Jesus Christ. So yeah, I will probably totally ruin... I probably also need to learn how to draw hair and all that stuff, so yeah. That's gonna be a leaving a mark into a battlefield, holy hell. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have so much fun. You didn't see it! Alright, well, behold. Allow me to just. Oh no, you know what? If you are gonna watch this uh, to uh, till the end, Blue, then I can show you the reason even better because then I can show you the full clip. So technically, you could be just you know rewatching it by you know just going uh, from live to non-live. That would be also fixable because I played the, I played the track on uh, today already. So yeah, but uh, so far I did actually do a fluent. Greetings, so I'm happy. And uh, I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at drawing. I'm getting better at, you know, coloring. I'm getting better at a lot of things. Yes, a lot of things. This might not be an improvement on how to draw a human, of course, but this is an improvement on, you know, using the color schemes, creating a color scheme, uh, creating effects on the wings, creating something. I don't know, special? Yeah, special is a good word. So yeah, um anyway. I hope that you guys already are enjoying this because I do. I really love this. It's such a lovely little thing I can do, you know? Just drawing stuff. Drawing feathers, drawing drawing anything that is actually quite interesting to see. If I would be able to draw a human, then yes, I would be done in a month, I think. Then I will be finally be able to draw a human, pro uh, no, not perfectly, but good. Yeah, good is a good word. I already can do it. I already pro I already showed you guys that I could draw a man person. Now I only need to learn how to draw a better man person. So yeah. Also, girl person is also a per is also a thing that I need to learn how to draw girls because holy hell, that's also a thing that I don't know how to do. And if I can do it, then I'm I'll be better for it. I will be the very best even. I could be well, I could be the very best, like no one ever was. So it's weird that I just had a uh, had a black screen when the stream started until you start talking. Ah, well, since that you had that, allow me to just press the button, all right? Just hold your horses sit, blow, you're gonna see it, all right? So. There you go. Easy. I believe this works, so... I believe it works. I don't know if it works, but I believe it is. So, as long as I believe that it is working, then yes, it should be working. Or did it not work? Eh. The only way to find out. Ah, there it is. Yes, it is. It it did work. I just got a delay on my hand. Eh. So yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. So everybody can see it now. Behold. I did it. I created it. 
This is certainly a lack of a, of a stream. Holy hell. That's a big delay. Well, eh, delays are for delays, right? Oh, hello, Space Junk. Nice to see you. So, yeah. Your intro is too long. I know. I know. I know. I know the intro is too long. I know. That's the main problem. I don't have created an intro. I have created an outro. So, uh, I'm using the outro as an intro as well. So, <laughs> my, my, my mistakes. It's, uh, I should just. I'm still busy with making the animations, alright? I'm still busy making animations, so yeah. Hold your horses. I'm trying to make a good intro. And that intro is gonna be taking a long time because I need to learn how to make a bloody damn animation. So yeah. Which is gonna be taking me like ages, but I probably just gonna make an animated bomb that just runs away and I'm be like, oh yes, drop drop the name. So yeah. So yeah. Oh, very fancy. Yeah, but it is not a. It it's technically the outro. So. So um. I hope you guys all had a great day, because I did. I just you know. I really want to move on, and I can't because I need to fix this one. And once I am able to fix this one, I will succeed. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys are doing your. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well, because I do. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do sports, hopefully, because I will not get interrupted by my nephew coming coming around. <sighs> you bastardly, dastardly, douchely, bush! Damn you! Damn you! Damn you to hell! God damn, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where did I do it? There it is. Grant me the color. Thank you. Now I can continue. So yeah. I hope you guys all had a great day. I hope you guys all had a great day. And now I'm totally out of my whack. Again. Great, I'm off my doing stuff thing, doing stuff to list. Talk, yes. All right, uh, where are we gonna be talking about today? Mm, I was talking about how to did a, that I made an outro instead of an intro. Eh, let's continue with that part. So I created an out, I created an outro, but not an uh, not an intro technically. So. If I want to do that, I need to get myself into animations as well, just to get the intro done. And uh, that's going to be taking me like maybe a month to fully done. And uh, after that, I will be able to do it. So after the Malfa project, I will start on it. I will start my very best on making an animation of, you know, just a little bomb just exploding or something, whatever. Just something. Something easy made. Something very cheap, probably. But it is an it's an intro anyway. So yeah. Cheap old skate me. Yeah, there you go. Cheap skate me. Gonna make an intro that is gonna be wor worth it. Wor eh, worth it? Yeah, worth it for me at least. Worth the effort. So now, since that we are working on you know these feathers after all these feathers are done you know I hope and I mean it I hope I have done the right thing to do what I needed to do hopefully this will create a good color palette that will um, make the yeah I was I was thinking way too long there making uh, bleh, mm, Making sure that this whole damn paint and this whole damn artwork will look nice. That's the spirit. So once I di once I'm done with this, I will probably be able to get my animation done, my intro done, and uh, get my out uh, outline done. Uh, overlay, overlay. Ah, almost had it there. Almost uh, overlay done, and then I will be able to get everything fixed. 
until then, um, this uh, this is just gonna be the thing that I'm gonna be doing. And uh, in the meanwhile, I'm just gonna be working on, you know, my writing skills, my drawing, uh, my intro, animation, and uh, after that, I hope uh, I will be able to get started once this project is finished to start on a new one. And trust me, I will make sure that I do my very best upon doing so. So yeah. Hmm. Something is amiss. What is missing? What's going on here? Hmm. What is going on here? There's something wrong with the layers, isn't it? Nah, I knew it. Damn you to hell. Damn you. You need to be below this. Ah, I fixed it. All right, cool. So this is the uh nope. Where is it? There it is. All right, cool. So yeah, um, once this whole thing is done, I will be very happy to announce that everything is gonna be jazzy old doodly. I hope. At least that's my planning. <laughs> so yeah, um and now I have totally nothing to say. God damn it. I always want to just say something instead of having a bloody damn gap of, you know, air leading around that just mobbles around. Ugh. It's really hard, you know, to think about something that totally out of the ordinary and then you know make it up like oh yes I totally did I totally meant to do this and then you know or say it at least I don't know if you guys are gonna get that one but yeah it, I'm trying to do my very best to keep these uh, talks lightly oh well not lightly I mean alive that's the word all right book 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 grant me spirit book grant me spirit of what 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 is it today? What we're gonna be talking about? All right, fine. I guess it. I guess there is a, some something there. So apparently there is a beetle called Cleopatra. Uh, Cleopatra. So there is a dung beetle named Cleopatra. That's uh, that's in the. That's apparently a species of dung beetles. Cleopatra dung beetles. It's like, what? What? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really. So a famous woman, a famous ruling woman, is actually called is actually named after a dung beetle. Oh well, no wait, the other way around. The dung beetle is named after a famous woman, ruling woman. Hmm. I never knew that. I actually never knew that uh, there was a dung beetle named Cleopatra. It's quite funny that uh, s uh, certain things can happen, you know, when you have like you have like. Um, French desserts that are called Napoleon, if I'm correct. So yeah, it's quite funny that uh, some words or some animals are named after presidents or rulers, which of course is it's normal. It's normal that that those things happen. It's just you know, it's like you know a dung beetle named Cleopatra. That's quite ironic. It's like oof, a dung beetle. What are you named after? Well, I'm named after a bug that eats shit. <laughs> That's actually quite fun. Have you any idea what you will draw for uh for for freedom time yet? Is it a pretty beetle? Eh, yeah. I I guess that's that's true. It is a pretty beetle, but still it's a dung beetle. It likes to walk around in shit. That's that's the sad part of it. Like, oof. If it was like a golden beetle, oh yes, then I would have been amazed, like, oh my god, a golden beetle? Ooh. I don't know if they exist, but hey. 
So what I will be drawing for, you know, freedom. So, yeah. I have some ideas what I'm going to be drawing for freedom. I do have some ideas. Some of them are very cheap. What is, uh, you know, quite easy to understand. Another one. So, I do have some ideas here, but I don't know if they are good ideas. They are they're ideas nonetheless, though. So I should technically pay attention on them, but not as much as uh, the rest. So um, the idea of the uh, freedom, it's either going to be, you know, freedom or freedom. So what I'm thinking about is making a fist with a hammer. You know, and a shattered glass, something like that. Or, uh, what was the other one? Guns? Probably guns. Definitely guns. Yeah, probably just guns blazing, daka daka. Yeah. Freedom of bullets. Or I'm just gonna be doing a freedom of draw. Yeah. That's also fun. But yeah, I'm probably going to be drawing something like that. Just, you know, a man with a hammer, you know, shattering glass. Of course, I'm not going to be drawing the man with the hammer. I'm just going to be drawing the hammer and the arm. That's all. Because I I cannot get an, a full hand done in such a long, should the sort period, I think. I believe I cannot. But, you know, believing is believing. Shenanigans kill languages. I would say, you know, fuck it. I will go for full freedom, then I will go for full, full freedom. I will go to draw guns and guns blazing, I will. Freedom Liberation Front. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, I probably will draw something like that. I don't know how I'm going to be drawing it. I have no idea how I'm going to be starting on this. And probably, you know, it's going to be just casual old me figuring out how to draw. Because that's a thing. So yeah, um, ah oh, man, I am so clueless right now. It's like, oh duh, duh, I don't know what to tell, ah, panic button right here, just like pressing it and thinking like, think my friend, think, think about something, anything, anything is useful information than nothing. Draw it with a pen. Uh, you mean like a pen, like you know this kind of pen? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Like this kind of pen? Uh, or this like kind of pen? This 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 kind of pen, like this, and then go like that, and be like, and then like you know, oh oh j Jesus, uh, bad, uh, bad, nope, 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 like this, and then go like. Yeah, 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 and be like this, and then be like, and da -da -da. totally my drawing right there. Yeah, and then duk, 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 and be like, and then of course I'm gonna be look looking for sunglasses because sunglasses are cool and stuff. And then, yeah, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Maybe if I feel like it. If not, then, well, uh, you know, you get my point. Now I also need to change up the the, the thing again. Oh, well. 
All right, let's uh, let's go back to where I was because I cannot be uh, I cannot be uh, doing this like that. I mean, like a normal pan in your hands. Oh, well, I don't do pans. Normally, I only do pans when I when I'm sending gift cards to people. Oh my god, that actually looks fucking amazing. Nice, I did it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I did it. I did it. I did it correctly. Now is the quick question Do I only want this kind of color or do I want the second color involved in it? Let's take a look at the wings. Mm. Yes, I do want. I do want to have the second color involved in it. But which one then? I believe only the one that is in the middle because the other one is not that valuable today. I could do it, but uh, I don't know if it is necessary this time. So yeah, um, allow me to just just do one more bit, a little bit, 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 and bit, and I should be changing back to the other one because that one is way easier to use. Ooh, all right. Let's continue. Well, it is indeed a good con conclusion oh, after all those months of drawing. Freedom, bitches. I could also do that kind of approach. So yeah, I think I will do that kind of approach. And I'm quite good with that kind of approach. So I will do it that like that kind of approach. So, ha! In your face. In your face, I will do it like that. And then everybody's like, what are you going to be doing then? And I'm like, I'm not going to be telling you. No, 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 no. So do I want only these two? Do I want these two colors to be there? Like, do I want these colors to be in only there? Or do I need the second color as well? Yes, I do. Alright, fine. Fine, you got me. You got me. You got me good. I need to have the other color as well. Ugh. I hate this. I'm gonna be probably hitting myself for doing this, but hey, you know, I do need it. I do need it. I do need it. I don't want it. I need it. So I'm making a big, giant, lumpy hole there. Like that. Boom. Baby. Alright, so that's gonna be the other color, right? And let's take a look. Yes. That's indeed the color that I need. Alright, let's do this. So... And then, going back there. Yeah. Of course I need to switch then, so if I go like this... And then go for that, and then go back to yeah, yeah, that would that will work, that will work. But I already have an idea how to do this, so I'm gonna be happy upon this part. Anyway, uh, I need to double check. Half an hour already in. Nice. Then uh, we actually made some progress. Well done on me. One well done on my part. I made some bloody damn progress, even though I was like stuttering until the very end of talking. Jeez. So yeah, um, I think uh, I think I I will take Mark's advice literally. You know, freedom. What is the best day of freedom? Well, having a vacation, of course. Duh. Freedom of work. Ah, get it. Freedom of work. Yeah. So I know already how I'm gonna be doing this. So yeah. I don't know how you guys are going to be drawing this, but I know how to, I'm going to be drawing the vacation of freedom of work. Of course, it's not going to be the literal sense of freedom of work, like this inspired image. No, of course not. It's going to be my image. It's going to be it's going to be diluted and and bit and tainted. Duh. It's going to be my freedom. What what do I what do I see as freedom? Well, you know, sitting on a beach. Doing nothing, you know, literally sunbathing and locking all the work behind you. 
And I mean, like, not in the little sense. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Depends. Situational, maybe. But yeah, that's uh, that's the idea, and I'm gonna be trying to do that. I'm gonna be trying to do my very best upon getting that kind of cool-looking approach. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot that I need to mo move this down. Yes, there you go. So yeah, I think that's gonna be my great conclusion of to uh, of freedom. Me just gonna relax, take it slow, and do nothing but just you know sunbathing. I have an idea, but it may be a little bit too over ambitious. <laughs> well, you know what happened when I did over ambitious work on a drawing stream? I could not finish it, which I'm actually quite sad about. Like, oh my god. I had such a good idea and then I ruined it myself. So yeah. Ambitious. Ambiguous? Ambitious. There you go. So uh yeah. How about that? Uh how about those apples, you know, just you know, drawing something. Drawing just a cool guy sitting in the uh, sitting in the sand. Being like, screw you guys, I'm just going to be relaxing for today. Locking my dogs away. Locking all my doubts away. Just casually doing nothing. Oh yeah, on vacation period. Freedom, bitches. Freedom. Which technically is freedom. You know, you are free of work. You're free of doubts. You're free of thoughts. You're just, you know, relaxing, doing nothing else. And, uh, you know... You locked, uh, you locked away all the, the hardship away just to casually relax on your beautiful, sandy castle that you built. You know all that stuff. You meet that hot chick that you wanted to date. He lost you, and you're like, "Hey, buddy, how are you doing today?" <laughs> and that's the worst pickup line ever. But uh, you get my point. <laughs> Of course you're gonna <laughs> be talking to a girl like this. Hey buddy, how are you doing today? How was the weather? It's like ah yes. Totally. Totally that's the greatest pickup line there. Definitely. You're not supposed to do that. I would recommend you not to say people buddy. Because then it will say like what the hell? You're not my friend, buddy. <laughs> uh Anyway, um, I am having quite a fun actually. It's quite fun to see that how much I'm already working on this. And, you know, bits by bits, it's getting better and better. And uh, well, this work just takes a lot out of me. It's like, ugh, it is hard. And then you realize, like, yeah, technically it is. It's uh, one of the hardest things you could do. Hmm. I'm missing something here. I'm missing something. So yeah. I'm gonna be uh Drawing the relaxing dude that just sits on a sandcastle doing nothing, you know, something like that, maybe. Just a relaxing person, like, oh yeah, freedom time. And maybe I'm just gonna be drawing the bomb. Yeah, that's actually quite cool. Bomb, sunglasses, nice, uh, nice smoothie in the hand, you know. And being like, yeah, I locked, b I locked behind my doggos, and uh, I don't give a shit anymore. Don't worry. It's gonna be good that you're not gonna be uh, th that you're bad at bad at picket lines. Stay wholesome. Call the girl. <laughs> Call the girls, buddy. <laughs> All the girls need to be called buddy. Buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. buddy, buddy. <laughs> uh. 
It's the whole Bro Brickstone dilemma all over again. Yeah, I'm Bro Brickstone, the legendary Bro of Broness, you know. The legendary dude of Broness, yeah. It's the best, you know, kind of fun activity, I guess. And I always love my Zap Demon. Holy hell, that thing is. Ooh, I could actually make Zap Demon relaxing. Ooh, I could make a relaxing Zap Demon. Hmm. That's actually also freedom of work. Like you know, you have this bomb just working in the ba uh, sitting here in the background on the shady, s shady sands, and you know, you have this Zap Demon just zapping off these doggos. Yeah, that's actually quite cool. Oh my God, I can do it actually. I can make just you know Zap Demon zapping things. Hmm. I think I might be able to do that. I think I will make sure that I have a zap demon who does zapping things for me when I'm getting too crowded. That would even be better. Zap demon. And then, you know, the freedom of zapping. Yeah. And the bomb is just be like, casually relaxing, boys. I'm just doing nothing but just sh sitting here, right here. I feel so sad. Sometimes, you know, when I try to do, when I try to see other people's art, I'm like, oh my god, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. But you know, you need to focus on your own art. That's, that's the first main idea. Focus on your first, on your own art, then look at your style, what can you improve on it, and then, you know, work with it. Not against it. Work with the flow, not against it. Otherwise, you drown. Well dead or you will be sucked in and then you will drown so you know and i forgot that there are no red stips here don't mind me if i do don't mind me if i do all right fine i'll get here then instead so yeah mm. i forgot that some parts here are not fully done correctly So yeah, um, I hope you all had a great time already, and uh, how far I already uh, got it with my voice, my beautiful, charming voice of, you know, self-doubt and uh, great, great talking, yeah. So uh, that's a good motivation, right? I am for you guys, especially Blue and you. Ah. Wait, I don't know actually the word. God damn it! No! That's what I know that it means something good. <sighs> All right, just gonna find out what it means. All right, just hold on. I need to know because it's really important for me. Envy. Yes, that word. A feeling or dis a discussion of long, enduring, but uh oh. A feeling of discontent or resentful longing accusing uh accursing by oh I'm gonna be totally butchering this right now uh um by someone's passion or qualities or luck. A desire to have quality or passion or desirable things to belong to someone else. Oh nice Nice. That's really nice of you, Space Junk. I also envy you. Trust me. I wish I would be able to draw like you. On how you draw the how you draw those dragon blasters? Oh my god, that that's so fucking cool. I could not have done it. I could have not done that by a long shot right now. I am not that far in and especially into line art. I'm more like a traditional drawer, I guess, and try to combine it with line art. Yeah, I'm a mad scientist doing these things. So yeah, uh, I'm a madman. I'm a, I'm a total madman right now. I'm a madman who do who does things by the book. Well, does things by the book. I mean, like totally ignore the book and then throw the book away and then realize that oh shit, I need my book. <laughs> so yeah, I try to do I try to do my very best upon getting. Uh, getting getting there, you know, on that part. 
getting better at doing stuff like this. Doing stuff like that. Doing stuff that other people can do. Trying to get better at improving my own art. And then, you know, work around with the problems I have with my art. And I'm trying to increase on that. Yeah, especially that. It looks so fucking clean. There is no smush whatsoever. And doesn't even feel like a sketch most of the times. And it's really cool. It's like, oh my god, you went from a sketch to that, and then it's like, oh, I wish I would be able to do that in one go. Like, of course, it's not a one go, but you get my point. Like, it it is it is noticeable when you see the end result and the sketch, and you already know where it's gonna go. Especially with your artwork, it's really, uh, it's really, uh, it's really easy to see where it's gonna be ending, which. I really like about it. It's like, oh my god, you're gonna go for this? Nice! And then you do! So, hey, you know, that's that's the cool part of it. Like, you did it! You actually did it! Oh my god, that's cool. That's so, that's such a mad lad. My dad, that's awesome. It's not like me when uh, I'm trying to do my very best upon drawing and then I realize like, oh god, I made a mistake on the, uh, on this and made a mistake on that and I can see every mistake I make and that is really nasty for me it's like I wish I had my motivation right now and then it's like ah well at least it looks nice and then I have that kind of a like, kind of idea like hmm yes motivation right when I need it just keep on swimming keep on swimming and eventually you know it will float just just keep on keep 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 doing what you do that's that's awesome and I would recommend everybody to do that keep just doing what you do no matter how bad you are at something eventually you will improve on it no matter how good you are on it you will always need to you always need to be tri uh, striving to improvement because improvement does create more better art if you don't want to improve that's fine but then don't expect, you know, improvement. Is that a right way to say things? Yeah, I think so. It's like, you know, when you have these, when when I draw, and I realize, like, I could not draw a church. What the am I thinking? And then I drew a church. It's like, ha, huh, I fucking did it. Well, that's a new thing from um, my books of uh, thinking and learning. You know, that's uh, the that's the idea of it. Like, I didn't know that I was able to draw a church, and then I did it. And I was like, what? what? How? How did I draw it? And then I was like, oh, I did it like that. Uh, duh. I didn't know how to draw a coral reef, but I did it. I didn't know how to draw a boat, but I did it. I learn and learn and learn. And only the mistakes that I leave behind are those that are noticeable. And those I need to improve on, and so I will. Because I will try my very best to improve upon my own art. Like, I drew a human. I drew a human five years ago. This mad lad of a human was way better than I did it five years ago. So technically, I improved upon my own drawing. Which is a big thumbs up for me, like, oh my god, I actually improved on my own human drawing. Ha <laughs> Even though it looks way too sketchy, but I'll I'll try to get better at it. I'll try to get better at that. I will try to get that feeling, that sweet ass feeling of, you know, eh, this could be in book. This could be in a book. This could be that guy. So yeah. Oh yes, don't get me started on the dragons. I love fucking dragons. I fucking love them. Well, not in a not in a sexual way. I'm just loving them in a in a good way. Like, yeah, I really appreciate if people draw dragon art. It looks so fucking cool. It's like, yeah, dragons. Do fucking, do fucking, very interesting. You know that kind of that kind of feeling. It's like, yeah, dragons. So yeah. 
And of course, I'm the person that just prefers, you know, good old fashion. Tick ties saves lives, so, you know, that's the thing. Anyway, uh, I hope uh, I hope I did things correctly, said so, things correctly. So hey, you know, everything good now? I think so. Probably, probably I won't regret what I just said. So, and I don't. I think I said actually the only only honest truth about it. So yeah, um, everybody, I am so very hell. Uh, I'm so very ha uh, yeah. It's so very nice that you all have come today, and I'm very ha I'm very thankful for that. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. And uh, bye.